First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahach, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity and peace, blessings, and healings onto the elect and the multitude because that's why we do these videos. You know, this was in my feed, uh, Bill Clinton, my message in support of the Iranian people. You know, this is what I want to talk about today, because if you didn't know, in um, the U.S.'s plans ever since, you know, 2001, after 9-11 got attacked, and Israel's plans was to, you know, take down the Middle East and set up central banks. And the only country that's left is Iran. They're ramping up the propaganda, they're ramping up everything they can to get in there so to to get the people to support them to go in there you know what i'm saying just like with japan just like with the middle east just like with um you know vietnam so forth and so on now we know that everything all the wars that they have done because they rule by the sword they rule with the sword man by their military might we know that all that was false all that was lies you know what i'm saying and the same thing is going to happen again man they're going to lie to get in iran okay so I want to play this and then I'm just going to go in. So let me play what this dude says and then I'm going to play what the general said. And then I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about. And then I want to bring up some scriptures, okay, about Iran in the last days. Okay, because Persia is written in the last days of what they're going to do. And the whole Middle East is going to come together. And Yahweh and Shah is bringing them down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. It says that in uh, Joel chapter 3, Jehoshaphat in the Middle East. Okay, Yahweh Shapat. Okay, so let me play this. I've been in awe of the courage the Iranian people have shown, particularly the brave women and girls, as they fight for their freedom. This fight is about more than a headscarf. It's a fight for basic rights, the right to speak and to assemble freely, the right to appear unveiled, the right for equality before the courts of law, the right to realize the dreams you hold so dearly for themselves and their children, the right to a future they can chart. I join calls from all across the international community for the Islamic Republic to immediately stop the abduction of the protesters and to release all political prisoners, many of whom require urgent care and many more whose whereabouts are unknown. To the people of Iran, the world is witnessing your courage and we will stand with you for as long as it takes to achieve your freedom. To the international community, the Iranian people need us. They want to be part of our global community. Iranians are educated, highly industrious, creative, and sophisticated. They want normal relations with the West, and they deserve our support. They want normal relations with the West. Nobody wants no relations with the West, man. Y'all start doing shit in other countries, and then men start thinking they women and cutting out their penises and, you know what I'm saying, and all type of wild shit that uh, these so-called white people are into, you know what I'm saying. They're trying to bring that Babylonian wine and spill their wine everywhere so everybody can be influenced to do uh, wickedly, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of fucking wickedness. But we all know why they want to go into Iran. It's not because they want to save you people and... Not because these people are holier than thou. You know what I'm saying? These are the most violent people on the earth, man. They want your resources, man. Okay? But um, General uh, Wesley Clark, okay, this is what he said in 2007. And uh, let me get some scriptures real quick. Because it said in the last days that these people would basically, you know, snitch on themselves. And that's what they've been doing ever since the lockdowns. It's just been them snitching on each other. You know, um... Psalm 64 and um, 8, this is talking about the secret secret counsel of the wicked, okay? But if you go down here, it says, uh, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, all that see them may flee away. So their own tongue is falling upon themselves, because we can go back in history and look stuff, look at stuff like this. Look at what you said, you know what I'm saying? And you contradict yourself, you know what I'm saying? And this dude just spilled the beans, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know if this dude's still alive. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, Job 5, 15 and 6, Thine own mouth condemneth thee, and not I, yea, thy own lips testify against thee. So let's play what this guy said. About 10 days after 9-11, I went through the Pentagon, and I saw Secretary Rumsfeld, and 
and Deputy Secretary Wolfowitz, I went downstairs just to say hello to some of the people on the joint staff who used, used to work for me, and one of the generals called me in. He said, sir, you got to come in. you got to come in and talk to me a second. I said, well, you're too busy. He said, no, no. He says, we've made the decision we're going to war with Iraq. This was on or about the 20th of September. I said, we're going to war with Iraq. Why? He said, I don't know. <laughs> he said, I guess they don't know what else to do. To set up a central bank, man. That's why they went in there. And to steal all their resources. Opium and uh, gold. You know what I'm saying? After, after they went to the Middle East, America just exploded with opium, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why they went in there. To rape, rob, and murder. So uh, I said, well, did they find some information collect connecting Saddam to Al-Qaeda? He said, no, no. He says, there's nothing new that way. They just made the decision to go to war with Iraq. He said, I guess it's like we don't know what to do about terrorists, but we got a good military and we can take down governments. And we got a good military and we can take down governments because why? Because these people are the sword, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about Shemesha gave them the fatness of the earth? He gave them a blessing. You know what I'm saying? And I want to get there real quick. You know, let's go to Genesis real quick. Let's go read the so-called white man's blessing that the Lord gave him. You know what I'm saying? Because it's important, man. You got to know these things. You got to know why the so-called white man is ruling, man. Okay? Because uh, yeah, how about Shemesha gave him a blessing? He's the sword, man. Okay? He's doing the job. He's doing what how about Shemesha wants him to do. You know, he's being set up by the Lord to do these things, you know, and then you how about, uh, then you how about some is going to get him out the way when he's through with him, man. This is, um, Genesis 27 and, uh, 38. And Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing, my father, bless me, even me also, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father answered and said unto him, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. And of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword thou shalt live. So this is his blessing man. The so called white man's blessing. That he would have the fatness of the earth. And the dew of heaven from above. He would rule the earth. There's only two people on the earth. That got promised to rule the earth in its entirety. You know what I'm saying. That's the so called white man Esau. The blacks. Latinos and Native Americans. That's Jacob. Okay. There's only two people that has ever been promised to rule the earth in its entirety, okay? And uh, in the kingdom of heaven, that's when the Israelites will rule the earth, and they're going to rule the universe in its entirety. But the so-called white man got the earth in its entirety, okay? It says, um, and thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck, okay? And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And that's why the so-called white man hates you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans so much. And that's why he has um, basically did everything he's done against you. Because in their spirit, he was set up this way to not like you. Okay, he's in his DNA, he's set up like that. The Lord set him up that way. He's the wicked man. He's the devil the Bible speaks of. Okay, he has a story. To play in the scriptures it's like we have a story to play in the scripture just like everybody else okay that's his role we got our role this is a uh, job 9 and 24 the earth is given it to the hand of the wicked okay we just read who gave him the world man okay isaac gave him a blessing who was the house child okay it says he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not wearing who is he because he's been hiding himself just like this video right here you know Clinton is acting all holier than now, but we know these people ain't holy, okay? We know these people ain't like that. He's an Epstein man. They over there doing wild shit. We know these people worship Satan. Point blank period can't be refuted, okay? Now we're going to go to, let's go to Psalm 17. This is a good one. Psalm 17 and uh, 13. It says, Arise, O Yahweh, by Shemeshah, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Which is that sword. So they got their part to play man. The wicked that the wicked that the Bible speaks of. The devil that the Bible speaks of. Is Esau Edom. The so called white man. He is the sword. You know what I'm saying. Um, they use their military to rule. To scare. Okay people. You know but that power is wearing off. And if you look up US military bases all over the world. Look at this all over the world man. 
all over the world, man. 2015, they rule with their military might, with their sword, man. That's why Russia feels threatened, because look at this, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why World War Three is going to be Russia versus the U.S. It's going to be the biggest war ever, man. You know what I'm saying? But going back to this, let's keep playing what he's playing, what he said. It's like we don't know what to do about terrorists, but we got a good military and we can take down governments. And um, he said, I guess if, if the only tool you have is a hammer, every problem has to look like a nail. So I came back to see him a few weeks later. And by that time, we were bombing in Afghanistan. I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? And he said, oh, it's worse than that. He said, he reached over on his desk, he picked up a piece of paper, and he said, I just... He said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. And finishing off Iran. Iran is the last one they got to take down, man. You know what I'm saying? So don't be, you know, duped by these people, man. We know what they want to do, man. Rape, rob, and murder, okay? And I want to get some other things. This is uh came out. This is horrifying. The Iranian parliament votes overwhelmingly 227-63 to execute the five fifteen um, thousand protesters they already arrested. And you don't know what these people are doing, especially the U.S. and Israel. They probably got people over there. They uh guerrilla guerrilla warfare over there. Guerrilla tactics. You know what I'm saying? Making the people do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? Making them rise up over lies. You don't know what these people are doing. They always do it. I don't know what it's called. It's it's called something. You know what I'm saying? But they send um, economic hitmen, economic uh, liars, e economic um, agent provocateurs over there. And you don't know what's happening over there. You know what I'm saying? But we know they over there spies and they over there lying, man. You know what I'm saying? So if Iran wants to do this to 15,000 protesters, you know, so be it. Because... You know, uh, not everybody wants to be a, a democracy and not everybody wants, you know, that wicked satanic spirit that you're pulling, putting all over the world, man. Because if you go to Revelations 18, I want to get this. It talks about the end of Babylon, the end of, uh, of America. But, you know, you go down here. It says, um, for all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her because these people don't stay at home. They go all over the world and uh, drinking their wine mean, you know, America has spilled their wine and the wine goes, their philosophies go all over the place. You know what I'm saying? All over the earth. And now you see the earth in the, in, in the condition it's in and the people in the condition in it, it's in. You know what I'm saying? People aren't happy. You know what I'm saying? People are mourning. And that's what happens when the wicked rules. Because, you know, America has that do as thou will spirit over here. Do what you want to do with no, and, uh, Without any consequences, which there is going to be consequences, okay? The Lord is going to come back and do everybody viciously, okay? Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. The people are mourning right now, man, okay? Like Libya. You see what happened over there with Gaddafi. That's one of the countries he said. You know what I'm saying? He gave everybody free everything. And he was going to set up... Um, currency backed by gold you know what i'm saying he was going to help africa get out of that uh hole they in you know what i'm saying they was going to cut off the dollar and you see what they did to him they beat the shit out of him and killed him man you see the same thing that happened with um saddam hussein you know what i'm saying we got the receipts now so it shouldn't be you know there's no coincidences anymore these people planned this from the beginning okay um let's get this you know george bush basically had a slip up George Bush had to slip up the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean of Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? These people are devils, man. The result is an absence of checks and balances in Russia. And the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean of Ukraine. <laughs> Iraq. Anyway. Uh, 75. Uh. Yeah, man. Disgusting, man. 
George Bush uh, made a slip up while talking about the Ukraine referring to the unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. He invaded Iraq in 2023, falsely claiming it had WMDs, okay, falsely. Over 200,000 civilians killed. You know, they called them terrorists or whatever they call them. U.S. forces linked to torture, abuse of detainees held without charge. And that's why Iran is doing this to this to the to their own people, man. Even if it's happening or even if it's a lie. You know what I'm saying? You do not want the US to come into your country by any means necessary. Okay. Point blank period. You don't want that you don't want their philosophies in the people, man. Okay, because it destroys the people. Point blank period. And uh, I wanna get some things right here, you know. Lusitania, you know, there was a war behind that, Pearl Harbor, you know, went to war behind that. You know, Gulf of Tonkin, you know, went to Vietnam because of that. And 9-11 went to the Middle East because of that. You have a bunch of Mashiach put him in a trick bag because he said they was going to go down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat in the last days. But, um, you know, now they're lying about, uh, you know, Russia saying, um, you know, they're giving the troops, you know, Viagra to rape all the women. It's, they used the same thing on Gaddafi said he was raping mad women and he was giving his troops uh, 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 Viagra, you know. Esau Edom does that shit. Nobody else does that foul shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So you just look up every war they've been in. You know, since this country was established, every uh, every one of the every one of them was lies up to the Native Americans, man. Point blank. Period. Okay. So I want to get some scriptures. This is Habakkuk chapter um two, verse three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So. Like I said, prophecy is um, the prediction of future events. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is prophecy that all this stuff would take place and uh, how these people would act and how these people would rule, how the wicked would do wickedly, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. It says the, the soul which is lifted up is not right up, is not upright in him. It's talking about you saw Edom, man. Okay, because he's strange, you know what I'm saying? He's he's violent. That's it's in his nature, and he's just a liar. He's a deceiver too. It says, uh, for no reason, he'll just lie to you, a perpetual man. It says, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, and they are super proud, man. You know what I'm saying? Neither keep it at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied. He never keeps at home. You know what I'm saying? He wants he wants to take everybody down and make he wants everybody to be wicked like him. You know what I'm saying? He invades you, lies about it, gets his people to get behind him, you know what I'm saying, and then they rape, rob, and murder everything. Who enlarge of his desire as hell and is as death. Everywhere he goes, he brings death, man. There's not a place he hasn't been that ain't bring death. Ever since he got out the caves, ever since he got out of Mount Seir. He just been doing his thing, man. He he's like uh these people are like Cain, man, just murderers. But gather unto him all nations and he performed to himself all people. The only people that ever done this was these the Edomites, okay? Greece, Rome, America, they the only one that just do as thou wilt, have every creed, every people and they nation just doing whatever the hell they want to do. Okay, but this is important. So not all these take up a parable against him. Since they've been, they never think of the latter end of their actions. You know what I'm saying? But there's always a reaction to what you have done, even if it comes later. Because these people, they rule so hard with the sword. You know, it takes people a long time to catch up. And then they, then they fall. You know what I'm saying? You got to wait till these Edomites get weak. You know what I'm saying? Especially America, man. You, you got women in the army now. You got trainees as generals now. And now it's more, okay, easy to take down. But it says, um, and a taunted proverb against him and say, woe to him that increased that which is not his. And these people have increased in things which is not theirs. How long and to him that laid of himself with thick clay. Now everybody's in debt. They put fractional banking all everywhere. And now the people is getting tired of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And they're saying, fuck you. You know, Russia, Iran, these other nations getting off the dollar. You know, and saying, fuck you, man, we're going to do our own thing. And they don't like that, which is going to cause World War Three, And them going into Iran, which is going to cause World War Three, because in the scriptures it says Russia that Russia is going to protect Iran. And I'll get that in a minute. It says, um, 
and awake that shall vex thee, and that shall be for booties unto them. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. And we're going to get what's going to happen. Because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land, and of the city, and of all that dwell therein. So, you know, because they have done this to many nations, the dragons of Arabia, the whole Middle East is going to stand up against them, man. And then it's going to be a holy war down there in uh, Jehoshaphat, basically down there in the Middle East, as it says in Joel chapter 3. This is Micah 2 and 2. And they cover fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress the man in his house, even a man of his heritage. They oppress the real Israelites and their heritage and then talk shit about them. The Black Latinos and Native Americans say, you ain't the people and all this, but we're going to see, man. It says, Woe to him that divides iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. And I want to get a scripture real quick. This is Romans 9 and 26. And it shall come to pass, this is prophecy, that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. So these people talking shit about the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans saying you can't be the true Israelites, blah, blah, blah. This is the place where it was said unto them, You are not the people. There shall thou be called the children of the living God, man. Point blank, period. But moving on with what I'm going to get. I want to get um, Iran's part in this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel 38. It says, And the word of Yehabash and Meshach came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And Gog and Magog is talking about Russia. If you look at a, a biblical map, you know what I'm saying? Gog and Magog, the region where that's at right now is where Russia is. Okay, so this is talking about end days prophecy. It says, um, and thus say, how about some child? Behold, I am against the O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, because at the end of the day, these Russians, they're Edomites. But he's going to use them. Okay, they're the sword. Okay, he's going to use them to start World War Three to go against their own kind. The Americans, they're the same people, different tribes of Edom probably. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to fight. It says, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will turn thee forth. And all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with buckles and shields, all of them handling swords. Okay? So, Yahweh is the one that's waking up. Russia, he's the one that's making the Ukrainians shoot a missile over there in Poland. Because he wants this to, he, this is going to come to pass. World War Three is going to come to pass. Okay? But, going to five, it says, um, Persia, okay, this is important. Because it's naming the countries who's going to back Russia in World War Three. When did Persia change its name to Iran in 1935? Okay, so Persia changed its name to Iran in 1935. Which, you know, these Edomites probably told him to change the name. Because they don't like the Bible. They don't want nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know, Yahweh Shemeshah is never going to let you destroy this book. Okay. Ethiopia and Libya with them. Then they destroyed Libya. In Ethiopia, they're over there probably doing wild shit too. All of them with shield and helmet. Gomar and all of his bands at House of Togoma. This is talking about Turkey. So Turkey's in NATO, but they're going to side with Russia in World War III. Of the North Quarters and all of his bands and many people with thee, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself thou and all that company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So Gog and Magog is going to be a guard unto Persia, man. Okay, and that's where World War III comes in. Because we all know. That the American and Israel, the Americans and Israel's plan is to set up a central bank in Iran, and also they want to take all their resources. You know what I'm saying? Because um, when you when you hear about America and Israel wanting to go somewhere and go to war, you got to look up the resources of that people, what their what their resources are, because that's what America really wants. Okay, because it, in the scriptures it says what. Isaac blessed Esau with the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. Okay, so everything on the earth is basically his for now. Okay, but at the end of the day, it's how about Shemel Shai's? You know, but their blessing was only, it's going to get cut short. It was only a little season as you read in Revelations uh, 20. Okay, the, these people was only set up to rule for a short amount of time, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, is Iran rich in resources? Iran is the fifth richest country in the world in terms of natural resources. So they're the um, fifth uh, richest country in uh, natural resources. It, it has more than 7% of the world's mineral resources. And you don't think the so-called white man wants that? You know what I'm saying? So he don't care about y'all women in Iran. He never cared about the women anyway. 
You know what I'm saying? He just did that so he can tax y'all over here in America. Never cared about what you Come on, man. They just want another wanted another income. But uh, I want to get Second Ezra. This is what I wanted to get all along. You know, Second Ezra chapter 15, 28. Behold, a horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east. A horrible vision. A vision of what? The future. Okay, prophecy. And I want to get this real quick. Because who y'all call Jesus Christ? He's the spirit of prophecy. Okay. And I fell at my feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh who y'all call Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. Okay. That's a big thing, man. You know, everything that's in this book has come to pass or is coming to pass right in front of everybody's face. You know what I'm saying? So, a horrible vision and the appearance there were from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia, look up a biblical map, shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the winds upon the earth. And all they which fear them, all, all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Also the Carmoranians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them. Who? The whole Middle East. Because Iran hasn't really been getting into it. They've been sticking to their self. Okay? Watching all their brethren go down. You know what I'm saying? They watched America go down there 2000, or ever since 2001 or 2002. Whenever we invaded the, not we, the so-called white people went into the Middle East. They've been watching. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure the Iranians seen this video. Okay. They're like, what the hell? So that's why they've been trying to get everything together. So, um, also the Carmoranians, and I want to get this word Carmoranians. Carmorania region. Okay. Boom. Persia. Okay. So it's talking about Iran and the scriptures about the last of the last days, man. You know what I'm saying? Also, the Carmoranians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. And they shall, and shall the dragons have the upper hand, so they're eventually going to have the upper hand in World War III, remembering their nature, because what is uh, Ishmael's nature? You know what I'm saying? Ishmael, this is Genesis chapter 16. Verse 11, and the angel of Yahweh Meshach said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Ishmael, because Yahweh Meshach have heard thy affliction. And you know, it's cold that the Bible is talking about future things. It says, I heard Ishmael's affliction. So-called white man went up there and treated y'all like niggas, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's why, I, hey man, he is Yahweh, man. This is his movie, man. He's playing chess versus self. Okay. And he will be a wild man. Okay. That's his, that's Ishmael's nature. His hand will be against every man and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Okay. Man. You know. He heard Ishmael's affliction. You know, the so-called white man. Okay. <laughs> Went over there and treated y'all like niggas. Okay. But um, it says, um, Then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. And if they shall turn themselves, conspire together in great power to persecute them. So Iran has a big part to play, you know, in World War III. You know, that's going to basically pop it off because Ezekiel 38 talks about Russia protecting uh, Persia, which is Iran. You know, Iran is um, helping Russia with drones over there in the Ukrainian war. I think I heard. You know, there's Iranian troops over there, but I'm not sure, man. I saw it in an article a while back. You know what I'm saying? Her Chinese troops was over there in Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's already a prelude. Everything is already being popped off anyway. Okay. And uh, eventually it's going to really pop off, you know, the third world. And also, it's just prophecy also that um, everything is happening in that region. Because how much of Mishai said it would happen in that region. Okay, why did he say it was going to happen? You can read Joel chapter 3 for you scattering the Israelites in part of his land. Okay, Israel. Okay, point blank period for what you did to his people. But it says, um, Joel 3 and I proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. 
Beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruna hooks and the spears and let the weak say I'm strong. Nobody's scared of Israel and um, uh, uh, America no more. Because everybody's built up, you know, uh, a decent military. And everybody has caught up by getting the same weapons they have. You know what I'm saying? That sword that you have by some shot gave them is wearing off. You know what I'm saying? Point blank period. You know, he had his time. Okay, and his time is, and now it's his time to go down. Assemble yourselves and come up, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither, because thou mighty wants to come down, O Yahabashim and Shai. Let the he he heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there would I sit and judge all the heathen round about, so in the Middle East. So that's why all this stuff is happening in that region, and Yahabashim and Shai is making it happen that way, because like I said, this is his movie. Okay? So, there's really no more I need to get, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all I wanted to talk about. Basically, these people lying to get into Iran. It was in their plans all along. You know what I'm saying? So, you shouldn't be tricked of anything that they do or anything that they show you on the news. Okay? Because they, they was going to go in there all along anyway. And that's going to pop off World War Three. Okay? Because Russia's going to get involved because he's going to be a guard onto them. Okay, it's this beautiful times we're living in right now. Okay, so double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS, the time of the truth, and call Halaya Habashem and Shabashem and